Hello my dear friend, John is here with some updates of um, what we were doing today and uh, it was not as busy and um, I actually decided to take my residency card application and to go today. So I did uh, went to immigration office and um, I gave all the documents they wanted, I provided everything and uh, had no problem at all. Uh, they um, took it and that's it, done. So um, at least this one is off my neck now, guys. So yeah, uh, I will make in the, my next video for you guys the... Uh, we'll go through a little bit of the application form so you would know what kind of documents you need to prepare because, uh, you know, sometimes people are going to the office and um, uh, they don't know, they don't bring everything you need to bring, you know, for the application form, which actually uh, they have the whole list. But I don't know, maybe some people just uh, don't read it um, uh, through because I had some people in front of me in the queue, had a little bit of, uh, yes, people and uh, they were told that they need to bring some more documents for the application form. So that's why I thought maybe I'll make a video a little bit for you guys uh, who will be applying for the residency card and um, it would be maybe a little bit useful for you. But next in next video, because right now it's um, evening, uh, we are going to have some dinner and uh, a bit more stuff to do in the flat because right now I'm in a new flat. We are going to finish some baits and uh, unfortunately today actually I went to buy a TV and uh, got it but they don't have it uh, in stock. So like I'm saying there is always something, there is always something because I have been coming and asking them how fast you can bring the TV and uh, they said okay next uh, the same day so i got it in the morning and then they're saying okay it will be after four and then uh, they give us a call and said sorry but uh, we ran out of tvs nothing in stock and uh, it's only going to be next week now <laughs> oh it's, it's like just uh, every time you want something done and it just takes time and time now it's another week so it's next week i have to wait i mean they offered to refund it but what I'm going to do, go in the other place and they're going to say the same or something, I don't know, I just felt like, okay, we'll wait for another week, fine. I was planning actually to do description of the apartment and put it on Airbnb next week, but I don't know, fingers crossed, because I really wanted it to be ready for Easter, but I don't know, it's uh, people who want to come for Easter, I think they already booked uh, their accommodation, so I don't think anyone is going to book it for Easter now because it's been delay after delay after delay so i guess it's going to be ready whenever it's going to be ready <laughs> so yeah that's just a little bit of updates for you guys uh, we have uh, again lovely weather once again i'm uh, standing on the balcony right now it's sunny and nice and warm it's not blowy it's not very windy so uh, yeah lovely weather i think it's going to be uh, even hotter in a week so, uh, but again, can't promise what's going to be on Easter because I'm sure a lot of uh, people will want to come here for the holiday and uh, hopefully you will be able to enjoy this lovely weather, guys. Really, it's just so nice, really nice. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing else to say, to be honest, at this moment. Um, what else? to say I don't know there is nothing else and tomorrow uh, Saturday yeah so we will see maybe I'll make a video about the application form how to do it uh, if I'll have uh, time because I need to do some other things <laughs> okay and uh, we will see so yeah just a little bit of updates for you guys of the daily life kind of what's happening here in my life obviously in Gibraltar because everything else in Gibraltar is quiet <laughs> nothing is going on nothing much uh, major brag about really so yeah uh, everything is uh, good quiet warm and uh, enjoyable really to live here in Gibraltar <laughs> so come to Gibraltar <laughs> come for holiday <laughs> stay in my apartment soon <laughs> okay guys so yes it will be possible I think to rent it directly actually because uh, it would be actually cheaper than to do it for Airbnb Airbnb service fees are quite high I have to be honest to be honest I have been booking my uh, accommodations lately through bookings mostly and uh, 
not through Airbnb. We, we used to we used to travel and stay quite a lot in Airbnb, in Airbnbs. But lately, it just uh, because we are slowed down. I mean, with COVID, obviously, unfortunately, because before COVID, we were had so many trips and all the time it was Airbnb booking and most Airbnb really. And then um, when when the COVID started, to just stop traveling pretty much unfortunately and uh, only a few small trips we have to Spain um, usually we do book for booking I don't think I will be doing it through booking because I'm not sure about the system somebody was telling me there is something there when you book through booking um, it's not going through the system I think it's you have to have it through your link or something i don't know i just don't want to go through it it's just too much i'm going to do it <laughs> airbnb and directly and that's it for now and then we will see how it goes guys so kind of like get really nervous about all of this thing things um we will see yeah and i will tell you all uh, about all about this um, stuff how it's going on and uh, how it's, what else is going to be happening okay so that's it i just want to show you a little bit around the actually balcony guys I don't know if you can see or not, like right behind me, that little bit of the area down there uh, where there's lots of cars and it's actually post office. It will be a new building and actually um, I think the new firefighter station is also going to be around there, but it will be something new. Another development looks looks really quite nice actually on the pictures when I looked at it. I might also, if you're interested guys, I might also make another video about it. So um, you would know what it's going to look like. So enjoy the views while you can, guys, because Gibraltar is changing. A lot of buildings going on. Whatever you see today, you might not see it in whatever, five, ten years time in the future. I wouldn't even say about what's going to be in about 50 years or something, 100 years. It's probably all going to be built up everywhere. Just going to be uh, more and more buildings, possibly. So uh, that's it. For now guys thank you for watching of course don't forget to like subscribe and uh, if you're interested in life in Gibraltar and uh, you know Airbnb things renting out your place uh, then um, you are very welcome to subscribe and follow and I really appreciate that all your comments guys thank you so much for your kind comments for everyone who is uh, following me for quite a while yes thank you guys I love you all <laughs> okay hi from Gibraltar bye bye everyone see you next time bye <laughs>